shut up, shut up. It helps if you press the button to shut up. People are obnoxious and shit. I got to shower up. I got to go up in there. I got to load up all these. It's, you always make it more, but there's always somebody, somebody tells me, my imaginary friends tell me shit. It's cool. These voices in my head, I can't shut them up. I'm glad I can't. I liked today's revelation. I thought it was funny. I thought it was beautiful. I enjoy sharing it with you, all right? I hope it helps. Um, what was it? Oh, here it is. Because the offended, she's... She, my imaginary friend, God, I hope she's single, um, she said to me, she said, go remind them about an eye for an eye. I'm telling you, people have beautiful mathematical skills, and they're very intelligent. She goes, go explain the to them, because you're going to say, if I have offended on any of you, um, you may come and, you know, tell me. You, if I have, you know, come in all harm, you can slap me. What she needs to try to explain to you, she goes, it's, it's not, if I go up and say something to you, like, you're stupid, and you can come back and explain to me that I wasn't stupid, and here's what that, then you verbally slapped me back. It's not, I walk up and go, man, stop that, that's stupid, please stop. And you walk up and start slapping the man. You can't do math to save your life or your soul. Thanks, um, imaginary pretty lady. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been made to feel like I'm crazy, and I apologize, and it hurts. But, um, yeah, but... um. <laughs> But this imaginary lady comes up with some beautiful math uh, equations, and I had to come and drop this, <laughs> drop it like it's, <laughs> I, had to, it, I had to come defecate on your microphone, all right? Some serious shit. Um, shut up. Tip. Oh, man, nobody can teach you anything. He was the last voice. Guru didn't exist. He didn't say anything worth keeping. He wasn't even here. Forget the brother from Brooklyn. He has no apocalypse. Apocalypse type talents or anything like that. He has no perspective at all. He doesn't even exist. They're not the life that God gave them. Only people from 2,000 years ago have the life that God gave them. We're all just a bunch of wretched, evil souls destroying the world. Oh, shit, that sounds like us, dude. Shut up. <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> I, Jim Carrey doesn't exist either, and he's not here, and I don't know him, and he's crazy. Anyway, don't talk to the man. He's insane, and he will drive you crazy, and he's freaking nuts. And if you want to hang out with him, you're crazy because he's just nuts. Don't hang out with the man. He's crazy, okay? I know. I have experience. I've hung out with the dude, and he's freaking nuts. And he's got a real cool daughter, but leave her alone. Why? Because she's cool. And, and if you hang out with her, she'll, she'll start getting all pissed at you, because you only want to hang out with me because my dad's cool. And I'm cooler. Why? Because he's a nut. <laughs> she deserve You deserve it, man. She poor girls everywhere are like, damn, dad's a freaking circus sideshow, and I have to go along for the ride. He's a nut. But it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> Daddy's being crazy again. Here we go. Come on, daughter, let's be crazy together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I run. It's freaking hilarious, man. You're, we're all running. What are you going to see us all the time? <laughs> we're going to be running through a thing going, Jean, Jean, roses are red. She's going to be like, oh, shit, you know I sing better than both of you. Why don't you just shut up? You can't sing it. A guy has to sing it to you. And he will. And if he doesn't, he's a stupid schmuck. <laughs> It has to be the right one for you, and we can all make him feel pain, okay? There's a lot of us, and we really like you. And I will. I'll, Patrick, too, will help oh, pain. Pain, Gene. You let him know that we can, Mark, big man, <laughs> we'll grab him by the testicles and tell him we can make you feel pain. And ask yourself, do I feel lucky? <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, serious. Don't, don't, don't abuse our girls. And don't abuse... Because that one woman, she gave very good advice. I want to put her black heart in a jar on the mantle and hang her skin from the gate. <laughs> Why? She treats you like shit. <laughs> she's that stupid bitch. But she can't help it. So what we want to walk up to is this. We're not going to do this, but we can make you feel pain. We can publicly embarrass you like Jeremiah did and get you to stop. If you'll listen to Jeremiah, if you'll listen to Job, if you'll listen to the others, if you'll listen to the descendants of them that looks a lot like them and acts a lot like them, um, you'll quit calling him a schmuck, act like he's a schmuck, and let all these leg lifting, stupid DNA interfacing knuckleheads come in and try to do this with you. When your husband, who has this kind of thing, makes love with you, and your children are come from these stupid people, <laughs> and he lovingly interfaces with you, and those kids, it can be very dangerous. You don't want to do that. You see that trying to manipulate God's will stuff, that's what you guys tried to do. It almost killed all three of the babies. That, yes, almost all births came out with birth defects or death by trying to force your will on them and have them assimilate my DNA. Okay? It's the love that you put into a child when they're here. I'm not going to come force my genes on your will. I'm not going to, here, take some of my DNA and you'll all be smarter. No, it's not going to make you smart. 
It's love that makes you smart. It's your deeds and your actions that make the DNA start to rearrange. It metamorphosizes in you. It's your choices. It's, it, it works like that. It's harder and it's going to take time. I'll help you. But I'm not going to screw all your daughters. I'd love to have sex with Paris Hilton. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> Be great. <laughs> Hi, Paris. I'm making you smarter. No, I'm a schmuck. <laughs> this is my gift to the world. No, it's not. <laughs> Why? Because I inter this other imagine. I want to talk to this imaginary girl from New York. If you do have a boyfriend, tell him you just want to talk to this old man, all right? Just for a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. You got to keep me high, baby. Now I'm just I'm messing with you. I mean, I'm having a good Shut up. <laughs> it's you. Be you. I know. By all means, be you, Ralph. Oh, be me. Hi, it's me. <laughs> Hello, it's me. I thought about us for a long, long time. <laughs> that is such a Todd Rungan. <laughs> Can we still be friends? <laughs> I'll come around to see you once in a while if you ever need a reason to smile. Spend the night if you think I should. I'll, I'll talk to you through the night. It's all good. Go do what you got to do. You know, have fun. Um, uh, you know, we can't play this game anymore, but can we still be friends? You know, heartbreak's never easy to do, but can't we still? We learn sometimes. It's the best way we learn, baby. It's just a little bit harder. Another broken heart ain't new, but it's cool. You're not really heartbroken. You're not. No, you're not. You're not. You're happy with your life. Go love little St. Francis and little St. Francina. They're cool. They are. They're super cool. Go with them. Excellent super cool. I mean, they're like really super cool. I dig them. Hang out with the, their dad. Yeah, I kick the shit out of him. He'll be fine. He's had a <laughs> Ralph Kalanick. <laughs> so is Pitbull. Look, he ain't gonna try to show up in my house. I'll crush his face. <laughs> Boy, you better not be pulling any of that bullshit. Ooh, I'm so cool. I'm gonna sell you beer and soda. I'm gonna kick your ass if you keep selling shit. You ain't all that. I friended up with you because she asked me to, and I'm a nice guy. You're a dumb shit. Stop being a dumb shit. I love you, pit bull. You're a fucking chihuahua. I've had guys up behind my wife like, yeah, I'm all that in a bag of chips. Well, come here, crunch. What are you? I'm a man. Yes, I am, and I can't help but love you so. That's me. I can't help it. If you're willing to put your life out there, if you're willing to look at Romans 12.1 and John 3.16, we can have you in the club. No, my love don't cost a thing, man. You don't have to be a star, baby, to be in my show. You don't got to, man. Just show up. Baby, come as you are with just your heart, and I'll take you in. You've been rejected and hurt to me your worth, what you have within. There'll be no cheering from the crowd, just your heart, your new circumcised heart, man, beating out loud. There'll be no parade, no TV or stage, only me to your dying day. I can't be everybody's husband, I can't be everybody's wife, I'm not every woman and I'm not every man. I'm just a man, yes I am, but I can't help but love you so. Go find your connection like I was trying to express to you. Go reach out and touch somebody's hand, man. That has got some pretty good songs, follow the advice. <laughs> Alright y'all? I love you, man. I grew up on those tunes, man. My mom had a big crush on Diana Ross. So did I. So did Michael Jackson. It's hard not to crush on her. She's got a lot of Nefertiti qualities in her. She sure does. She's got a lot of charisma, and she's very talented, and she has a beautiful voice. Oh, shut up. She does, too. She sings in their eyes like you wouldn't believe, and good morning, Hardy. <laughs> you old gloomy side. She sings Billy's songs. It's hard. To, I love Billy, but damn, Diana can tear Billy's songs up. So can Mickey. Go live, love. Have a good time. It's, but while we're doing it, let's work hard and save the world. It's a choice we're making, we're saving our own lives. It's true, we make a better world, just you and me. <laughs> we ain't selling shit. <laughs> we have no agenda, except for, yeah, I do have an agenda. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, man, I can't sell that. I can't, I, I can't pass that off. I can't, no, I have an agenda. What's that? It's love and life. I can't help it. I love love and life. I got it from that Marley dude. He's crazy. And I get it from that Salafi dude. He's nuts. And that Mohammed and Jesus guys, they don't exist. They're just in the playground in my mind. But as long as we, we'll go into the wonders. Where the children laugh and the children play. All right? I love you guys. Peace.